Am I the butthole for ignoring my dad for a week for telling me to man up after I was crying? I, 16 M, was crying because I didn't get into a soccer team. I was pretty upset at the whole thing and I told my friends about it. Obviously I didn't cry in front of them because I didn't want them to worry about me. I told my girlfriend, female, 16, about it, and she was really sweet and comforted me about it. Later that night I came home after hanging out with my friends and told my parents that I didn't get into the soccer team. I didn't cry at that point. I went to take a shower and began to cry because I was disappointed with myself. I don't have much time left and to play and it hurt really badly that I didn't get in. I got changed and I went to the room to set my alarm for the next day as I was going to begin to do more exercise. I begin sobbing again and my sister hears me, so she comes into my room to hug me. She goes to my mom and tells her I'm crying and my mom comforts me as well. Then, my dad walks into the room. My dad, 37, asks what's wrong and at first he's making sure that I'm alright. I don't usually cry much in front of them because I don't feel comfortable. After that he talks to me for a bit, and he starts scolding me for not doing enough. He starts saying that I should have run more, even though I am the most athletic and have the most stamina in my family. Then he starts lecturing me about how I need to eat more and drink more water, even though I do that too. Finally, he says that he finds it stupid that I'm crying over it and that I need to man up. He starts giving me that lecture about that back when he was young he didn't cry and all that. Trying to sound like a man. That just makes me mad and I start arguing back. Our argument started at around 10 and ended at 11. After the whole ordeal I haven't talked to my dad as I'm still pretty upset at the whole thing. It just makes me mad thinking about it and my mom thinks I'm being unreasonable and that I should talk to him. But my sisters are on my side saying that he shouldn't have said those things. Am I the butthole? Not the butthole. He's trying to push his internalized toxic masculinity on you. Crying is healthy, expressing your feelings is healthy. Sometimes you don't get things you want, like making a team or getting your dream job, and it's okay to be upset and even cry over it. Edit, thanks for the awards. A good man is first of all a whole human being, with all the emotions and abilities of a good human being. Anyone who demands you cut something out of yourself to be a real man, is toxic and broken. Original poster is not the butthole, and dad needs to be a better person. This 100%, we need to normalize men experiencing the full range of human emotion. There is nothing inherently unmanly about crying, it's a bodily function for a reason, if you weren't supposed to do it your body wouldn't. When my husband cries in front of me I thank him for being vulnerable and open with me. It's hard to overcome the internalized toxic masculinity ideals he was fed in childhood, and they are damaging to his ability to fully connect and share intimacy. Not the butthole, maybe you can show him this thread. He isn't a horrible and irredeemable person for parroting back what he has internalized but maybe he can grow from this argument and learn that emotion does not equal weakness. My guy is one of the most masculine men that I have ever been around, college athlete, coach, etc. With that said, he is also one of the most sensitive people that I know and has openly cried when he is with me just because he loves me so much. I love this about him and would not change it for the world. I know how disappointing it is to not get something that you want so badly, I went through this with cheerleading at your age and it still makes me sad to think about it because I loved it so much. He should have comforted you and then helped you work on getting better for next year instead of treating you like you were wrong for being upset and crying. I am so sorry that you did not make the team and I hope that you find something else that you enjoy as much as this. My guy is one of the most masculine men that I have ever been around. Yeah, mine is a national martial arts champion, and I've seen him cry over a commercial. He's mature, responsible, incredibly physically fit, and his phone is full of cat photos. I'm so so lucky to have him for a partner. Jumping in here also. Mine is a huge, barrel-chested mountain of a man. He's driven a truck most of his life, airplane fuel and propane, he's also a cowboy, spurs, chaps, the whole nine yards. He cries when the little ones hug him, he cries over every kind of special occasion card, he cries at weddings and funerals. He cries when he's happy or when his heart aches. Nobody is ever going to call him less manly in any way and I know that no one would have the guts to say it to his face. In my opinion, being able to own your emotions and express them, makes you more of a man and more human. 
My first husband, it didn't matter if it was mourning or his grandmother's funeral, there was nothing there. The few times that he expressed emotion, he was acting and just behaving in the way his audience expected. I'm sorry you didn't get on the soccer team, we've all been there one way or another. They say when one door closes, another opens and I hope you walk through that door, and what you need is on the other side. Hugs to you. Not the butthole. Whenever my boyfriend cries at the end of a Pixar movie and gets embarrassed about it, my internal monologue is usually something like, F the internalized toxic masculinity that made you think you're not allowed to cry. You see this bing bong crap? That crap's effing sad. Look, he's dying cause a 12 year old girl is growing up and doesn't effing need imaginary friends anymore. F that crap. You want a tissue? You had to go and bring up bing bong? Some of us are trying, poorly, to get work done and now have Richard Kind's desperate, heartbreaking voice stuck in our heads. Oh my god, don't even get me started on that movie. I just teared up thinking about Bing Bong, crying face. I was lucky as a young boy, because while all the people my dad had around me were the men don't cry, they keep it inside and drink type, my grandfather was also there. He was my hero, war hero in World War II, hands like vices from working the docks but worked his way to executive while always looking out for his workers, I could go on and on but point is he was what a man was supposed to be to me. He didn't cry a lot, but when he did he had no shame. The right movie or musical or Whitman poem, he cried. He made sure I never saw crying as a lack of strength, in fact it was strong because it's hard to let that out, it takes strength to face your emotions he told me. Talked about soldiers crying together to get each other through. That gave me the strength to tell my dad's bro off when he shamed me for crying once, and then he suggested that my grandpa wasn't as tough as he thought, and so I reminded his about the time my grandfather physically picked him up and threw him out of the house for disrespecting his daughter, my mother. Tough men effing cry. I would look him square in the eyes. Real men don't cry? I'll remember that at your funeral. Crying is a lot healthier way of managing emotions than getting drunk. Much easier on the liver. Dom that steep. Crying is really healthy and reduces 40% of your stress when you cry. One thing I picked up on myself in my early 20s and plan to pass on to my on the way son is that it's okay to feel. It's okay to cry, be angry or disappointed. Feel the things you need to feel, and then let them go. A good cry can feel good. Hanging onto those feelings for days slash weeks or letting them compound or consume you is not. Feel whatever you need to, and then let go of it and move onwards and upwards. Okay but for real, I was watching a funny video and it made me genuinely belly laugh for the first time in a while and I teared up a bit and just transitioned into a good cry. I wasn't even thinking about anything sad, I just physically needed to cry. Felt so much better afterwards. Not the butthole. His behavior is why we have so many men punching walls and screaming instead of sitting down with their wives and discussing their feelings. His attitude is toxic and unhealthy, and if he keeps it up, there will be a wedge between both of you that will be difficult, if even possible, to fix. What's more, I doubt your father is as athletic as you are. Is he eating and drinking enough? If you're healthy, that's all that should matter to him. Not the butthole. First of all, I'm sorry you didn't get in. Secondly, that old men don't cry needs to die. A real man does show emotions and crying is one of them. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Your dad is the butthole. He needs to apologize and change his macho attitude. Yes, this is true. Him saying that to original poster can be very hurtful and cause him to bottle emotions in the future. This can cause anger problems and other things like anxiety. It is always okay to cry even if to others the reason seems small. And not forgetting also physiological issues. Digestion and heart problems can be caused by chronic stress. Being open with one's feelings is healthy all around. A real man has the balls to show their emotions and be supportive of their children. Nah, I kid, I don't think a real man is an effing concept. It's a fictional pile of crap we used to be toxic to each other. Even when used for a good lesson. Not the butthole. The whole man up and don't cry thing is so toxic and a major reason so many men cannot express their own emotions. Giving your dad the silent treatment is basically what he asked for as if you don't speak you can't possibly express feelings. 
Original poster replies. Thank you. I will stop. I guess I am overreacting a bit. I usually let things go easily. I guess I just wasn't having it now and I don't know why. You're 16, you're allowed to overreact and be dramatic. Your dad is almost 40, he isn't. This exactly. Op's brain isn't completely wired up yet, he's allowed, expected to make mistakes like this. Dad on the other hand is supposed to be the adult. But. How is this a mistake and an overreaction? He was just displaying emotions in a healthy way and to exit macho dad decided to be a butt about it. But you're not overreacting at all, you were disappointed as hell that you didn't make it after all your hard work. That's a perfectly acceptable reason to be angry, sad, disappointed, all of that, and an acceptable reason to cry. Your emotions are valid. Crying doesn't hurt anyone, it is a healthy and natural way that our bodies help us release emotions. Now, if you were still this devastated in a few weeks, that would be more concerning. For the record, my husband was a soldier. He was special ops, he was an E-Tech and a paratrooper, and I have seen him cry more than any other man on the planet. He cries at the end of MacGyver. He cries when he remembers his grandfather's silly sayings. He cries when he pets his dog. I don't know anyone who is more manly than my spouse, and if your dad thinks that men don't cry, then your dad has no understanding of what it takes to be a real man. Your husband sounds awesome. Not the butthole. Men like this is why men commit suicide 4x more often despite the fact that only a third of depression diagnoses are for men. Cry, it's good to get it out, holding it in will only make you feel worse, it's okay to talk to friends when you need a shoulder to lean on, and if they don't want to be there for you, then they don't deserve you. Was just about to say exactly this. Never hold your emotions in. Depression and suicide rates are increasing in men because of toxic masculinity. You're allowed to cry, in fact I'd say being in touch with your emotions is awesome and will help you in your future. Men commit suicide 4x more often. I was curious about this, so I looked it up. Women attempt suicide more often than men, but men are more likely to actually die in the attempt. Was super interesting slash depressing to read about. This is often due to access to firearms, especially in the states. This is powerful, wow. Not the butthole. Your dad's mindset is so out of date and very unhealthy. It's good that you know better than to take those comments seriously. On the other hand, Prolonging the argument needlessly helps no one, if you've made your point, and he's backed off, it's probably time to let it go. Perhaps you could share some info on why comments like that are harmful with your parents, even just your mom of your dad isn't receptive to it. Education on topics like that is good for everyone. Original poster replies. I want to make them proud of me for doing the things I love. And I don't take things in a good way when I fail at something I tried really hard on. I should try to control my emotions a bit more. I understand that my reaction wasn't the best and I should have been more forgiving. You should try going easier on yourself, that's much healthier than controlling your emotions. Start forgiving yourself too, dealing with things that don't go your way is a hard lesson for everyone. Dude. A big part of controlling your emotions is to feel your way through them. You waited to fully feel your disappointment and sadness until you were safe and ready to release them. That's fully functional emotional regulation. Adolescence throws some overwhelming and confusing balls of feelings at you sometimes. Being overwhelmed when that happens is a normal part of emotional regulation. You are doing very very well. Your way is a good way. Not the butthole. From a man at the lofty age of almost 30, I got to tell you, sometimes, even grown butt men cry. Crap happens. For whatever reason, you get upset and you cry. Can't tell you how many times I've seen it, and how many times I've done it myself. Sometimes, you just need to get it all out. Perfectly normal and your dad needs to get over it. Not talking to him for a week is a bit over the top, but there's absolutely no reason you should have been shamed for crying. Look, I'm an old dude who grew up in the John Wayne of Cowboy Up don't cry etc honestly I never understood why guys cry if they lost a game etc but, as I've matured I understand there isn't anything wrong with emotions and in fact are healthy. 
Unfortunately your dad apparently is still old school and probably thinks crying is a sign of weakness. If he is fine otherwise, move on. Nobody is perfect. Just continue to be yourself. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.